So rolling into video two of the day, you guys probably already watched the one where I did the bib on the Springer. So, and still really kind of grooving how that looks. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if I'm the only one that likes it. You know, maybe I'm that odd ball out. But today we're jumping back onto the Street Glide because it's been a little while since that saw anything, although it's been even longer since the Fat Boy's seen any love. Because I, I said before, I uh, Fat Boy's got to go. I, you know, I don't ride it, and I've been riding it, and now I'm second guessing that thought. So I don't know if this ever happened to any of you guys. You're looking at, you know, got an extra motorcycle, an extra car, or whatever. You're like, I need to get rid of it. I don't, I'm not using it. And you go and use it. You go like, <laughs> oh yeah. I haven't told my wife that yet. Don't know that I now I that I want to get rid of the Fat Boy because I remember how much fun it is. You know, it's, it's got its things that I don't groove, but I mean, it, it, it is what it is, you know. So anyway, I got sidetracked. So y'all know that I'm kind of got this whole black and chrome thing going on, you know, swapped out the, the levers for black and, you know, trying to keep everything centralized chrome in and around the engine bay, you know, and, and orange you know black with it, accents of orange like what i got here up on the on the grips on the seats on the the tramp stamp on the on the rear fender the saddlebag liners are stitched in orange so what i did because harley had a big uh has a big uh father's day sale going on which i probably should stick with had past tense because by the time this video airs father's day will have come and gone so they have a big sale going on right now and I got mirrors the mirrors I've been wanting since they released the collection but I couldn't justify the price because I've been seriously eyeballing those adversary mirrors and those are the ones that I got so here they are so see if I can't catch that on the camera here you can see they just got that anodized orange right there in the middle on an all-black mirror the only thing I don't really care for, and I've got a damn reflection in the way, is it says Harley right here, and it's like laser etched into the paint, so I couldn't even get rid of that if I wanted to. I would have preferred to not have that, but hey, it, it's Harley. They're going to put their name on anything and everything they possibly can. So, that being said, they're good quality. They feel good. I like the shape. I like everything about them, except their price tag and I believe the last time I looked these mirrors are priced out at $240 they are not worth $240 to me if you've bought them at full price and you think that they were absolutely worth every one of those let me know because I think you're wrong so that being said they're on sale right now whatever the percent is they were marked down to like 190 bucks that's cool I, I was willing to pay 190 bucks for these but then I got to noticing, uh, you know, I, I've got uh, my hog membership and I get points for that. I have, you know, one of the Harley credit cards. So when I spend money at the gas station or wherever, I get points for that. So I looked at all of my points. Sure enough. So I cashed those in and landed these $240 mirrors for less than a hundred bucks. So if for people that are wondering, is the hog worth it? To me, it is because if nothing else, I get towing to the next closest dealership. I get points to use towards purchases. The credit card has been phenomenal. That's generally just my gas card. I get points for that. It's like five times the points on the gas card, you know, what, no matter what I'm filling up. So I think the, that combination is worth it because I just saved myself uh, a damn near a hundred bucks just in points from shit that I'd already bought. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop blathering on uh, it did come with new hardware, the black acorn nuts, some washers, spacers. So I think that's a half inch. Uh, I will confirm. But all we're going to do is pop that acorn nut off, pop it out, drop the new one in, acorn nut on. I do like that they gave you a matching black one. And then spend the next, I don't know, six months dicking with the mirrors until I get them exactly back where I want them. So, and I don't know about everybody out there, maybe I'm just this anal retentive weirdo, but when I'm riding, you know, I, and if I'm doing anything with my mirrors, 
I always check to see where it's already hitting on my finger so that way I can at least place this angle similar to, you know, what I'm taking off is. So that way it really kind of helps minimize how much time I'm spending fiddling with these because I, I spend way more time with mirrors than I probably showed her what most of the rest of you do. So, you know what, while I've got you, let's just go ahead and check. Now, well, we'll see, I'm fairly certain, whoops, wrong drawer, that's just a half inch. But now I gotta know. Oh, let's see here. Hot damn, I remembered one. All right, half inch acorn nut, that's it. So let me grab the wrench, pop one off, get it on. I'll show you kind of a before and after. All right, so one mirror installed. So there it is. You just catch a glimpse of that orange down in there and up above. I do groove the shape here compared to what they got going on there. And if we dip over here, see, we still got the stalker. Now, I, I don't mind this, I don't know, I, I'm going to call it a teardrop shape. I really don't. But I really like this more of a rectangular teardrop that they did. So we'll loop around to the POV view. That's a little redundant. That was redundant. The POV, POV setup. Okay. So there we go. So we got the right one. We got the left one. Let's just go ahead and get all up in there. So you can see I'm still roughly positioned on my finger where I was to begin with. Maybe a little forward, but you know, I think that's going to be fine. But again, you can really see that orange from the rider's perspective here. And you know, obviously that goes all the way through, you know, versus that. Again, I like these. I like the chrome. But for the, the aesthetic I'm going for with the black and the orange, you know, you know, keeping chrome in strategic places such as the engine bay or accents up here in the dash or the bars, you know, the, the gas tank, badges. I could go on. But you know, I, I really groove this look. It, it is a bigger mirror, so I think that's going to be kind of nice. Not that I use them a whole lot, but, you know, they're, they're good quality. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one popped off. It was really simple. Like I said, I'm going to spend way more time fiddling with the orientation of them, you know, making sure I can see behind myself adequately. But, you know, let's pop that other guy on. All right. Another job well done. So like I said, there's that Harley logo and it's really appears to be like laser etched in there. It's a bummer, but at least it's fairly subtle. It's just sucks. I've got it right there and right there. I mean, it's just, at least the font matches, I, I guess, you know, it's probably, I'm probably gonna be the only one that ever notices it, but I'm going to notice it. I guess worst case scenario, maybe I could try to come through and just lightly dab a black Sharpie on there. I don't know. We'll see. But I do know the next time I bust out my ceramic kit, I'm going to have to ceramic coat the backside of these. Because that's what I did with the old ones. And it really does make debugging them easier. So, coming around for a POV. There we go. Yeah. That'll work. And six months from now, I can tell you, I finally had these dialed in. But I really grew it. You know, that orange and that orange really, really does it for me. I, I groove it. So, you know, it goes with the seat and the other seat and the bags. The tramp stamp from Sturgis last year which I still absolutely love that thing. It's so freaking cool. When I go back next year, and I'm going to try to have uh, Dan do the backside of both saddlebags, so maybe it's less of a tramp stamp. But, you know, every time I go to Sturgis, you know, get something else pinstriped. I, I don't know, man. Next one probably be the back of the front fender, you know. Really hide it in there, because not like you can really ever see it, but it'd be a nice place to hide some striping back there in a subtle spot because I've seen it up here on the front fender. It's cool. I've seen it on the fairing. It's cool. Like right there and here. But my concern is 
that's right where all the rocks go, right where the bugs go, the right where everything goes. And I don't want to dick it up. Plus again, subtle. You know, it's it's loud, it's shiny, but it's still a black street glide, and I want subtle. That's kind of been my whole thing with all of these bikes is subtle things. I don't want anything just like pow right in your face, you know, or pow right in your kisser. But that's my groove. So to me, this is subtle. To others, it's not. But you know what? They're my bikes. So that's all I've got. It was really easy. I do dig the quality on them. I bought them, like I said, out the door. It was just shy of 100 bucks for the mirrors. So I'd buy them again. I would not buy them for $240. i would buy them for $1.90. I'd buy them for $99. But, you know, if anybody else has gotten these mirrors, either in the black version or the... the was it the gray and the silver is the other option you know and you're having issues with them in whatever context be it paint fitment are the, are the mirrors loose on the stem because mine are still tight but they've got no miles all right had a sneeze there uh so if, if your mirrors are, are sloppy or or the the paint is chipping i mean i want to know i mean the grips have held up well they're the same collection you know they're reviewed very well like four four and a half stars i think on the website you know but it's, it's nice to have one bike out of three with different mirrors. So I'll, I'll box up the takeoffs. So I'll go back into my takeoff bin if I've got room. I might have to start a second bin. So, but that's it for this one. Quick and easy install. Just a single half inch socket. So I'm going to get out of here and get my butt back inside and go back to study. And I've got more, more homework, more studying to do. So... Uh, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. We'll get back to you. But until next time, we'll catch y'all later. See ya.